everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a lovely day. If this is your first time here, then hi, my name's Kate and I make videos about lifestyle, interiors, fashion, being a mum, vlogs, that kind of thing. So I'd love for you to stick around and subscribe if you like the sound of that. And if you're a long time viewer, then hello guys and welcome back. Sorry if you can hear banging in the background, we've got Finley with us obviously, so you might hear some baby noise. Today's video is going to be an in-depth kitchen tour. I know a while back I asked if you guys wanted to see that after I did like the full renovation tour and lots of people said they'd like to know more about the kitchen, all the details, where it was from, what it cost, things like that. So I thought I'd try and show you around a bit more in detail in the cupboards and stuff and give you a bit more information about it because I know I would have really appreciated that if I'd seen it before going into kitchen renovation. Before I jump into today's video, I just wanted to say a big thank you to our sponsor, HelloFresh. We've loved HelloFresh for years. I've raved about them for a long time. So I'd really love it if you stuck around and watched the next two minutes where we show you one of our recipes that we're having this week. And I've got a very special discount code offer for you as well. It's time for dinner. Our HelloFresh box has arrived. Are we gonna have the cheeseburger quesadillas? the serrano ham wrapped chicken breast on tagliatelle or the sirloin steak and sun-dried tomato butter sauce they all sound fantastic but i think we should do the quesadillas we haven't had quesadillas for ages and they look lovely the kids love them so that's a good shout quesadillas it is we're huge fans of HelloFresh in this house because it makes dinner time so easy. We're still in the thick of the summer holidays, but we're trying to get ourselves a little bit more organized and ready for the back to school routine. So one of those things that is really helpful is having our meals organized. We know what we're gonna have. So each week we like to get three different meals from HelloFresh just to make those nights super easy. And you can choose um, a box for two, three or four people. So Rick got started making the burger filling for the quesadillas and me and Finn tried to help out by making the rocket salad but I think he really liked being able to take part in this and he loved mixing it all together. So another reason we love HelloFresh in this house is because everything comes pre-proportioned, you know exactly how much food you need for each meal and then there is no wastage so at the end of the week everything's gone from the fridge and you just don't feel like you've wasted any food. This one was a super easy, family-friendly meal that was ready in just 20 minutes. And you can choose so many different things from vegetarian and vegan meals, rapid meals, um, family-friendly. There's so many options. So HelloFresh have given me a special code. If you use Kate60HF, like it says on the screen, at the link in the description box below, you'll get 60% off your first box and 25% off your next eight boxes. So please give it a go, you won't regret it. Everything is always so tasty and I'm sure you'll absolutely love it. Let me know what you think. So on to the kitchen tour. Honestly guys, I've waited my whole life to be able to design a kitchen and have a kitchen island. Having this, like waking up every morning and seeing that we have a kitchen island, I can't even explain how exciting that is to me. I love it so much. What have you got? Sounds like Finley's excited what is too. It? Peach. Peachy. Good boy. So this kitchen is from DIY Kitchens and it's the Hemsley range. So I've been researching kitchens for much longer than we even had this house or anywhere to put a kitchen in. Um, and I fell in love with them. I looked on Instagram and the Hemsley range was always the one that I saw and thought that is absolutely beautiful in real people's homes. And luckily Ricky agreed with me. So we went for the Hemsley in here. But after a lot of back and forth, we decided on the color Muscle. For a long time, we were gonna go for pure white. But then we decided to go for something that was a little bit different just to contrast with the white walls. So I'm really glad we picked Muscle in the end. Um, they have lots of colors in this range. And then on our island, a lot of people over on Instagram asked me about the island. Um, so we really wanted to get a bespoke colour, which you can get in this range. DIY Kitchens will pretty much spray your kitchen or your island, whatever colour you want. But we didn't have enough time because the lead time on that was quite long. So we undenied for ages. And what we did in the end is we got them to send the island primed but not painted and we painted it ourselves we did get quotes to have it sprayed by um, another company and it was it was really expensive so we just thought look we're gonna have a go at painting this ourselves and it actually turned out great it was it's 
been really good. It's really been hard wearing. So the colour on this is Farron Ball Treron. Really wanted a green kitchen island and I love the colour. But it means that in the future, maybe in a few years time, maybe we won't want a kitchen, a green kitchen island and we could paint it whatever other colour we want. So that's why we went for more of the neutral kitchen and then we thought we could have fun with the island colour. So behind me, first of all, obviously we have our fridge. This is the LG, I can't remember the name of it. I'll try and link it below, but it's the one where you go like that. It's a bit messy inside, but it's a great fridge. Lots of space in here. What's that? <laughs> Lots of space in here. Kids fingerprints. No, not up there. I bet that is, that's Archie. No, I came this a little while ago. Your um, fingerprints. Yeah, it probably is. Oh, on DIY kitchens as well, you can like um, put everything in on a 3D planner and see it all laid out. I'll try and put in a clip, in a clip of it because I got obsessed with it. Um, it's such a great feature. So anyway, we knew that we could fit these. What size are these though? 300. They're 300. So on this side, we have a 300 pull out. We did do a bit of organisation recently. It's not perfect, but you'll see none of, I haven't sorted these drawers out for today. So we've got like baking in the top, nothing in there at the moment. We've got pasta and rice, or that one's, is that pasta and rice as well? That's some rice and lentils, and then like tins at the bottom. So this is really handy storage. The pull out is really good. Can I ask where you got your trays from to fit in your 300 pull out? Oh. I got those from B&M and they're really handy because you can just lift them out. They are handy because they're the perfect size for those cupboards. On this side we went for just the cupboards. So in here it is a mess, sorry guys, but we've got cereal and snacks and grown up treats, not for the kids, um, in there. It is a thin cupboard but it works really well. One thing we also went for, which again it took me quite a lot of um, researching to know, know that they do this. So this is something to look at if you are getting a DIY kitchen. You can get the interiors in oak, which I think looks really nice and more expensive. And it's free. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, well, it's not free, but I don't think it's an added price. Yeah, but when I used to work in kitchens, for, to have an oak inside, you, yeah. they would have to pay extra. Maybe it was extra. No, I, don't, I remember you saying it was, you, no. they didn't charge I don't think it was extra, but I, I feel like that like, gives it a more, um, what's it, a bespoke designed kitchen look. I just personally like it, but obviously you can get them white inside, whatever you want. The top cupboard that doesn't close properly right now has just got a load of junk in it. I won't go into that. But it's a ba baking. It's got baking, baking stuff in junk. It, but it needs a serious bit of organisation. show you this. This is our Amazon. Um, is it the Echo Show? Yeah. I forget what it's called. We got this actually way before the kitchen was done in the Amazon, I think it was a Black Friday sale. Um, and we just thought it would be really nice. It has our pictures on it, but it's also got like a calendar and it's got our music and you can watch TV. And it's, really it's really good really for the timer cool. as well when you're cooking and stuff. Yeah, like obviously it's for next. And the boys love it, don't they? Yeah, the boys like watching things on it and playing music and it's really nice to just dance around the kitchen and we just put it all on the Alexa. We are denied over how we were going to lay this out for so long. I probably drove Ricky crazy and I definitely drove myself crazy. I reckon I must have spent hours and hours and days on this DIY kitchens planner, but I really feel like it works well. I do think we cracked it and we got it right. So down here, we've got some cupboards. Down here? Up, <laughs> up here, <laughs> we have all of our glasses um, in that one. And then down here, this is, looks very bare. <laughs> this is where we keep the kids snacks. I promise we do feed them, but it's the summer holidays. So surprise, surprise, they've eaten them all again. So yeah, this is where we store the kids snacks. At the moment, we've taken the shelf up here because Finley likes to sit in there. We have our oven and microwave stack. So we've got like the double oven, I won't show you in there, um, but it also has like the grill feature. And then we have got the microwave on top. So I really like that that's all kind of in one area. At the top, we've also got um, storage for baking tins. And we also keep like trays. <laughs> we also have a lovely drawer of trays here that also needs to be cleared out. In this middle section, we try to keep it quite symmetrical, which I think looks nice because one of the things I really wanted was a mantle with the hob in it. I'll go into more detail about why we decided to have the hob here and the sink in the islands. This is a thing that me and my friends have discussed a lot. It's quite a hot topic in the kitchen world. Um, but anyway, yeah, this area is very symmetrical. We've got our shelves here. I love these sort of distressed, wavy edged, raw edge shelves. And then 
can just find Where did you get them from? Things. Etsy. I'll try and link things below. Um, and then our lights are from Jim Lawrence. They were expensive and I was really shocked that I couldn't find anything similar for a cheaper price point because obviously they're quite a simple design, but I couldn't find any at the time, so I went for it and I really do love them. They're just a nice little cozy touch. I've got my vintage scales from the boot fair. I've got my Mure um, electric wax burner wax melter. So that's nice, it always makes the room smell good and it's a little light. Little collection of um, chopping boards that I've collected over the years. Just little bits like that really. And then in this drawer, we've got like our KitchenAid mixers. There's some recipe books. Like I said, I haven't cleaned the cupboards out for this video, but I hope you will forgive me. But that's a really good storage space. In here, uh, Rick does a lot of the cooking, so it's his fault that this is a mess. Yeah. Um, we've just got like handy little bits and bobs. I'm going to do a kitchen organisation video soon. I think we I need think, to. I think it's needed. <laughs> We've also gone for quite a lot of drawers in this line. Um, that's because I thought it would be really handy to be able to store things like the bowls, plates and mugs in drawers instead of cupboards. And I'm so glad we did that because it just feels so much more accessible. You can see everything from above. Obviously you have to stack them, um, but you're not reaching into the back of the cupboards. So I really love having these big drawers here. Um, really accessible for dinner time as well. You can just grab anything out of there and put them on the sides. And then in here, like pans and pots and just more cooking utensils. We've got an AEG electric hob. Um, again, we've always had like the ring hobs, which Ricky did prefer because he's, like I said, he's the chef of the house. But I you mean gas? Do you mean gas? Yeah, like the, but the ones with the big things that you can't clean. Yeah. Like the ring. The cast iron. Yeah. And I've never really liked them. Rick thinks they're better to cook on. But I managed to persuade him to go with the induction hob because it's like a cleaner look. And I think, it, yeah, I like it. I mean, it works well as long as you get like the right sort of pans and stuff. And then... And I, I got it because of the safety feature for the kids. Yeah, so it does feel... Otherwise, we would definitely have ca cast iron gas. <laughs> yeah, it does feel a lot safer for the kids, doesn't it? My dad built this mantle for us, which I just absolutely love. Um, here we used... a. This was a piece of wood, wasn't it? And yep. then this was a leftover piece of cornice, cornice which finished it off. Um, but Dad also put in these little cubby holes, which I thought would be really handy for storing stuff around the cooker. Again, I got all these ideas off Pinterest and Instagram and all the people that had done it before us, so I'm really grateful for all of that. And we used some leftover so worktop for the shelves in there, didn't we? Yeah, some leftover worktop in there. We've got our spoon, little jar. Um, that jar is actually perfect. Is that from the cherry jar? Yep. It's for, I think it was from a boot fair. Similar to the other side, we've got another drawer here. This is full of spices. And then this cupboard is just full of chopping boards, chopping boards and plates. And Christmas stuff. plates. So this cupboard, I'm really glad we thought about having a big open space because we knew that we would probably get one or two large appliances, you know, like. Um, tabletop appliances, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And we really love the Ninja Foodie. This really does a lot of stuff. It air fries and loads of things. It's like a seven in one or a nine in one. We also got that in the Amazon Black Friday sale. Uh, so we've got that in there. A whole booklet of uh, Hello Fresh recipes. <laughs> so we've got the shelves here, some recipe books, little bits that I've picked up, mainly from charity shops. My nan got me this little jug and lots of other jugs around the house. Um, yeah, I love how that looks and I like the chocolate it just looks cute. So on to one of my favourite bits of the kitchen. This is our like breakfast uh, cupboard or dresser. What is, I can't even think of the proper name for it. Like Bre a pantry cupboard. A breakfast pantry cupboard, Breakfast yeah. pantry cupboard. I always wanted one of these. Now DIY kitchens don't actually do this as a whole so we had to kind of hack it a bit i think diy kitchens as far as i can remember do this dresser top but they do these um spice racks separately you have to buy them and they're like an added thing i don't even think they're on the website you have to ask for them but they do do them so we attach these to the doors and then yeah this was a dresser top with i believe maybe another shelf in it but of course it came with um a bottom as well. It's a bit difficult to explain, but we wanted to run the worktop all the way through to make it like another usable preparing area. So 
Dad and Rick actually took the bottom out and it was it was quite a faff and quite difficult to keep this bar in and get it all back together, but they did it and it looks amazing. Exactly what I wanted for like a fraction of the price it would be if you you know bought that as a as a pantry or a dresser. So yeah, we've got all the shelves in here, we keep a lot of our breakfast stuff, tea, coffee, barley cup, um, biscuit tea, and then other breakfast stuff like peanut butter and <laughs> Nutella. There's a lot of that for the butter. summer holidays. Oops. Obviously the coffee machine is a must for Ricky, um, the toaster. So very much where we go for breakfast times. In here, I almost don't want to show this because it's a bit embarrassing. So in here I've got like the world's most amazing spice rack. But can you see an issue? Yes, there have no spices in them. Um, I still embarrassingly haven't got around to doing this, but I've got all my labels. I've got so many labels. And this is gonna be like the spice rack, the proper one. Um, yeah, we just need some time. Maybe when the boys go back to school. Sorry about the screaming. <laughs> then in here, this is where we keep all of the mugs. Again, I really like that you can see them all. They're not stacked on top of each other. It's all accessible, so we keep all our mugs in there. And everything for the breakfast bars in yeah. the same area, isn't it? Yeah, so we keep all of the bowls, like breakfast bowls and egg cups and kids' bowls in here as well. So it's really nice to just like grab it all here, prepare stuff here, Rick makes coffee, teas. Um, and I just, I love having this. It just makes me feel a little bit posh, really. But this was just a little added on area that I asked my dad to do. So we just had a plain wall here. And I thought it would really tie in with the look of this whole room if we did some tun and groove panelling, um, put a little shelf on with pegs. And then I just, again, added my little touches and pictures and stuff. So I've got my like um, chopping boards hanging. And yeah, I just thought it was cute. So this... The um, skirting board all around the kitchen, the mantel was all painted in fire and ball, uh, shaded white. And that is like an exact match, and I feel so lucky we found it, um, exact match for muscle, DIY muscle. So then onto our island. Um, it's quite a large island. It's about three metres by... 300 it's got to be 12 because six past the 300 then the 300 gap yeah so um so we yeah we got the island done and again this was really hard to work out what we wanted to have in here to make it um functional for us so in here we decided to go with well this one's just got tea towels and baking paper and stuff and then we've got one of all of our and the kids uh bottles it's one of the only drawers Lunch that's actually bottles, organized because <laughs> i did it the other day and then we've got all the lunch boxes down here because I really tried to think about what we had in our last kitchen, what didn't work and what did, and what storage space we needed. And we were always overflowing with their lunch boxes falling out of the cupboard and their bottles. So I thought if we can get a separate place for them, it'll be really easy to like make lunch, uh, pack lunches and all of that stuff. We've got our dishwasher here. This is a Bosch dishwasher and we went for the one that has the cutlery tray in the top. Right there, Finn. Do some sweeping for us. Clean up for us, doing his work. Cheers, pal. We've obviously got the under the sink cupboard where all of the things that need to be locked away go. And I really, really love this little latch that we've got on there. We have a really big double sink, double uh, ceramic Belfast sink, is this? Yeah. Or is that something else? No, it's a double Belfast. Um, yeah, I love this one. Oh, one of my favourite things that was on my like must have list if we could was a uh, hot water tap. So this one is by Perrin and Rowe, and we wanted one that was like aged. We found it quite difficult to find one, find one that wasn't just bright gold or silver or black. You just press that down and the hot water comes on. It's really super safe for the kids because it's like locked and they never have to go near it because they can just use this. Yeah, side. and even if they tried pushing it, it just yeah, wouldn't like work. Yeah, they can't. So it's, it's a great um, tap. The bins, we went for the four bins. We use this one for recycling, that one's for rubbish. We actually just store things in there, but it's got a shelf in the back. So you could do like, um, what's the word? Just food waste in one. Sometimes we've done that as well, haven't we? So again, we wanted to utilize the space under this side of the island as well, um, and not just leave it just with the backs of units. So we have these slimline cupboards put in. So they're not really deep, 
but it just adds more storage for like vases and bits and bobs um, while still being able to have this overhang so you can put your seat your seating under it we have two more of them this one has all of my autumn and winter candles in and i just hoping this looks smells so nice um, this one has some like gardeny bits that we take out and put on the table and stuff. Um, and then in these drawers, you know everyone has the SHIT drawers? We knew that we would end up needing those. So again, they need to be organised, but it's just... I did organise them with these lovely little B&M pots, candles and keys and, you know, all the stuff that you have, but you want to have it organised, pens, batteries, but it's gone like that. That's what happens in life. To be fair, we we did prepare for them to be shit drawers and they've turned out exactly that, so... Yeah, that's what we got them for. The purpose is 100% being used. Yeah, finally in here, this is falling down from the drawer. Oh my god, I really should have cleaned up before doing this, this is a bit embarrassing. Under here, we've got like, all the stuff we use if we have a party or Christmas or something like that. My nan's trifle dish from Christmas is still in there, that kind of thing. So that's what we keep in there. So one of the things about this kitchen that I get asked about the most are these chairs. And I really don't want to be annoying, um, but they were actually from one of my interior wholesale um, suppliers. So I got them when I ordered a big load of homeware and I was able to get them shipped here because I spent so, so long looking for chairs that I liked and really, really struggled. I'm so pleased with these and part of me really wants to sell them because I know so many people love them but also they're quite a big bulky thing to be able to store. Oh the store. boxes were huge. They were big they? and also my dad had to cut quite a big chunk off the bottoms because they were they were higher than this so maybe like not the most practical but they really are so beautiful. Um, my favourite bar stools that we managed to find so I'm I am glad we got them, but let me know if you are really interested, I might be able to source them for you. Um, and then if I just go around here, just a couple of bits on top of the island, I've got like a little um, soap dispenser and tray, they were from TK Maxx or HomeSense. I've got this really lovely um, B&M bowl, how nice is that from B&M? Then I've got, this vase was from HomeSense, so was this candle, this is a little charity shop jug buy from my nan and this um i might be selling on muray this little raised tray i really like this one it's like a little chopping board slash riser tray um and i like to change the flowers up every season so i've kind of started doing a little autumn display and soon like there'll be a little pumpkin here and, but I feel like it's maybe a little bit early for that, so I haven't gone full in autumn yet. I'm still trying to enjoy the summer. Um, and then apart from that, we've got the lights, which I adore. So I don't know how well you can see them, but they're like little glass flowers. And when I saw them, I absolutely fell in love, but I kind of thought, am I being ridiculous? Well, they look silly. And I found them online, and then amazingly, I found them on Amazon for so much cheaper. Um, and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to risk it, I'm going to give it a go. And they were perfect, and even the ones we were looking at had like black cords, like the pl more plain glass shades. And I was like, well they're okay, but then these ones had like the brass ones, and you know when those things just work out, and I just think, actually, they're perfect, because they're not too in your face, they're completely clear, so um, you can, you know, it just doesn't block your view of the kitchen too much, but it also adds that nice little... I just think it's nice when there's lights above an island. Ricky also said I should mention about how many spotlights we've got in this area. So we've actually got two big skylights, which helps a lot. And then there's the two spotlights that side. And then we've got three here. And then obviously the island lights and the back ones, which are all controlled on different switch. So you can kind of have a bit of mood lighting if you want to. Um, instead of them all coming on and all going off at once. I know people are interested in what this cost. I really don't mean to be like vulgar by talking about prices, but I do think it's really helpful. I'd love for more people to have been able to share prices when I was looking myself. So I've just looked on my invoice and for the kitchen units and everything and the utility room, um, not including worktops or appliances, appliances 
both rooms came in at just over 12,000. So that's with DIY kitchens. We did get quotes from other kitchen companies and they were a lot more, um, a lot more. So I do feel like it's a lot of money, it's so much money, but I feel like we did well for that. One thing I just realised I didn't mention was the handles, and I get questions about them all the time. The brass cup handles and the knobs um, were actually from Howden's. We didn't get our kitchen from Howden's, but we did get them from Howden's, and they were a good price. Um, you can find the exact same ones on a website called Yester Home, but I did find them cheaper on Howden's, and they're exactly the same. Whilst Finley's in the background trying to make himself a drink, because obviously that's what one and a half year olds do, um, I thought I would end the video by saying thank you so much for watching. I hope it wasn't too long and rambling. I hope it was interesting and informative. But if you want to know anything else, I feel like I probably missed stuff out, so please do ask me in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer it. I wasn't great at linking everything in my video house tour before so I'm going to do that in this vlog and go back to that one and relink everything um, so if you haven't seen the full renovation house tour I'll put a link to that in the description box below so you can go and check it out and yeah thank you so much for watching thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring you can find the discount code and everything else about the offer in the description box below too thank you everyone and I'll see you in another video very soon bye guys